Welcome to Learn Computer Science Online.com, and in this video, we are going to discuss what is program compilation. The program compilation is defined as the process of translating the high level program code into low level machine code instructions in binary using a special software called the compiler. In computer architecture, the program compilation is an important topic. In this tutorial, we will discuss in detail the step-by-step -step execution of the entire program compilation process. The program compilation process can be split into four stages. These stages are first, preprocessing, second, compilation, third, assembly, and finally, the fourth stage is linking. In this tutorial, we will cover all the four stages of the compilation process in detail. Let us first start with the simple definition of the term program compilation. The program compilation is defined as the process of translating the high-level program source code into the low-level machine code instructions in binary. The program source code in high-level is compiled by using a special system software called the compiler. The computer due to its hardware architecture can execute only binary machine instructions. The processor CPU is the brain of the computer. The CPU understands only machine code in binary. In simple words, the processor understands the language of only zeros and one. And therefore, all programs written in any programming language other than the machine language must be first converted to the machine instructions. The program compilation is a multi-stage process. The compiler converts the human-readable high-level computer program into low-level machine-readable code in the binary format. Let us now discuss the four stages of the compilation process. The program compilation process is a complex and multi-stage process. The programmer writes the program code as per the programming language syntax. However, the computer cannot directly execute any high-level program. A compiler is a special system software that is used to translate the high-level program source code file into the low-level machine code. The machine code consists of machine instructions in binary, which consist of only two digits, either 0 or 1. The machine instructions are encoded by the compiler in a specific format, called the instruction format. The processor CPU can decode the machine instruction as specified in the instruction format. The high-level computer programs are compiled by the compiler in four stages. Each stage of the compilation process takes the input from the previous stage. Let us now discuss the four stages of the compilation process. The first stage of compilation is preprocessing. The second stage of compilation is compilation. The third stage of compilation is assembly. And finally, the fourth stage of the compilation is linking. The programmer can either write the program source code on simple notepad program. Or alternately, the programmer can use a more user-friendly program editor software called the integrated development environment. Let us now discuss each stage of the compilation stage in detail. The first stage of the compilation process is called the preprocessor stage. The preprocessor stage takes the program source code file as input and provides the preprocessed file as output with .i extension. The compiler scans the source code file for all preprocessor directives that includes all hash include and the hash defined codes. The preprocessing stage includes all header files and all the hash defined macros are resolved by replacing them with their absolute values. All the comments are also excluded at the preprocessing stage. In C programming, the standard library functions are stored into a separate header file with .h extension. The separate header files helps to better organize the program code and improves readability of the program code. The programmer can include the standard function header files as well as other files that contains the user-defined functions into the program depending upon the functionality of the program. Let us now move on to the next stage. The compilation is the second stage of the program compilation process. In this stage, the compiler accepts the pre-processed file as input and provides the assembly code as output file with .s extension. The compiler converts 
all high-level program instructions into its equivalent assembly code instructions. These instructions are platform-dependent and compiled for a specific architecture. All right, so far we have studied the first and second stage of the compilation process. Let us now move on to the next, third stage. The assembly is the third stage of the program compilation process. In this stage, the compiler accepts the compiler output, that is assembly code instructions as input, and provides the object code as output file, with .o extension. The assembler basically converts all low-level assembly program instructions into its equivalent machine instructions. These instructions are platform-dependent and compiled for a specific architecture. The object language code of the source file can still contain the library references that needs to be resolved. Let us now discuss the fourth and final stage of the compilation process. The linking is the final and the fourth stage of the compilation process. The main function of the linking is to produce a single executable file by linking all the object code files. The large computer programs are organized into a number of manageable files. For example, the user-defined functions are written in a separate file. These files are tied to the main program file in the header section of the main source file, such as the hash include directives in C language. Similarly, the programming language also provides library of the standard functions. These functions are already in the pre-compiled object code format, and programmer can readily use them to simplify the programming. The programmer can use both user-defined functions and the standard function libraries by simply including these files in the beginning of the program header section. Since the standard library functions code is already in the object code form, which is a pre-compiled format, and can be directly included during the linking stage by the linker. The linker builds the executable program file by linking all the object files and the library references in the object form. The executable file built by the compiler is a platform-dependent file compiled for a specific hardware architecture. All right, let us now quickly summarize the program compilation process. The program compilation is defined as the process of translating the high-level program code into low-level machine code instructions in binary using a special software called the compiler. We also discussed in detail the four important stages of the program compilation process. And these stages are first preprocessing stage, second compilation stage, third assembly stage, and finally the linking stage. For more information on this topic, please read the detailed article on our website learncomputersciencealonline.com for more details. That brings us to the end of this tutorial. If you have liked this video, then please give us a thumbs up and consider subscribing to this channel. Thanks for watching and I will see you soon with another computer science video tutorial.